Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey! Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, we heard you ran into a little trouble out there. The Combine's been trying to head in the front door. <laughs> I think they learned their lesson. You mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll catch up to you later. You take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in Silo 1 access unit, right through here. Shall we? I don't feel anything anymore. <laughs> you would need both. What now? This oh is no, what's that? Well, now what? I'm pretty sure this is All right, right, back to work, everyone. It's just another false alarm in the okay, secondary dark. silo. Let's take a walk. Same old Dr. Magnuson. So, you ever used an AR-2 before? AR-2? No. Now, nah, an AR-3, sure. Plenty of times. There is no such thing as an AR-3. Well, see, in the city, the place was lousy with AR-3s. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it was So, do you know what the alternative fire method does on the AR-2? It kills hunters. How did you city folk kill hunters? You sure as hell didn't use guns. We would just wrestle hunters to the ground with our bare hands. I used to kill 10, 20 a day, just using my fists. Also, when you're out in the field, you're gonna be punching hunters? In the field? I'm not going out in the field. I'm a radio operator. Uh, that's it, leave. You don't need to be here, and I'm not gonna continue the lesson until you leave. I'm staying right here. I am serious, leave. I'm not going to continue until you leave. Hey, Gordon, man, you made it. Dad. Alex. I was so afraid I wouldn't see you again. There, there, sweetheart, we're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. <laughs> I knew if you both stayed together, you could get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good, because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad! Can you blame an old man for warning grandkids? <laughs> <laughs> What's... what happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Uh, okay. Yes, yes we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. The way he and Magnuson have been going at it, you'd think they were still competing for grant money. <laughs> <laughs> Something's never changed. <laughs> Do we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know for certain. We're keeping an eye on it. And what about the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's going to be close. All it would take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for them. I'm sorry we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're going to make it. I'm just so glad to have you back. <sighs> I'm glad to be back. Not to mention a delight to see you here at last. And Gordon, I see you and the HEV suit have taken excellent care of each other. <laughs> They're inseparable. The data, people, the data! Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? All right, all right. All right. I was just saying hello to Alex and Gordon. Oh, fine. No one grants me a moment's peace, but by all means, unroll the red carpet. Good grief. I only meant they might... Oh, never mind him. 
Now, my dear, where is this data packet you've been carrying? If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes. Of course. Another alarm? Oh, what next? A parade of constant interruptions. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? Uh, false alarms all day. Damn crows have been nesting in the tracks. I do not know how I am supposed to concentrate with all of this racket. Freeman. Freeman, you're not doing anything. Make yourself useful and find out what the hell is going on in there. Uh, yes. Gordon, if you don't mind, I'd feel better if you had a look. Catch up with us when you're done. Freeman! Last doors will have sealed due to the alert, so you'll have to go through the bottom of the launch tube. I'll open this hatch to let you down. Now, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary silo. Magnuson has instructed me to admit you into the secondary silo. The secondary silo can be reached through here.
until you sealed off the silo when the blast doors opened up. Regrettably true. I better let my dad know you're all right. Dad? Yes, Alex. Is everything okay? Is Gordon all right? Yes, he's fine. And thanks to him, the base is secure. Good, good. We're about to watch the transmission from Judas. We'll head right over. The Freeman must follow. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnuson. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. Dr. Kleiner told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. I pinned down the location of the project. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived intact or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work if it were discovered by the Combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm going to cut this short. We may have been spotted. I should never have let him go. There was no stopping her, Eli. Wait a moment. There's something else here. <gasps> it's the Borealis. Good God. Incredible. What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise. But in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you- Use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Has Black Mesa taught you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catch her, 
He'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after Dad. her. Dad! Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the Combines, go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry it along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. No, I can't. I can't let it happen again. Not another black mesa. Dad. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine in a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, you keep an eye on him. We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, babe. Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when he whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now... Now he's using my little girl. Putting words in her mouth. God... Damn it. I should have known when he rescued her it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance of, um... Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. Sounds great, Annie. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. Okay. Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all striders are destroyed. Now, you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest, and this ingenious new weapon of mine, in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now, look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. What did you say? Now, what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull, then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find. That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the Strider. Good. There you go. 
Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head up. Had enough? Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. Taken a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. Now check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. Rest of the gang's up north by the old sawmill, here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. <laughs> 